All right, now that we have our dot made, we are going to build a simple rig for the dot so that we can use it with physics in UE4. The purpose of the rig is not necessarily to animate it, it's so that those bones can be constrained and driven by physics in UE4 in the physics editor. I'm going to start this off in Maya by making sure that I'm in my rigging module in the top left hand corner of the screen and I'm going to hit the space bar to move over to the front view and I'm just going to hit in wireframe mode. Well, it's going to get us into wireframe mode. Uh, something else I want to do is make sure that oh, my uh, layers are good. If just to avoid any confusion I'm going to set this third box to R for reference mode. That way I don't accidentally click the mesh while I'm working. So I'm going to go to skeleton uh, create joints. I'm going to start here at the origin. Just click there. I'm not going to give this too much bend. <clears throat> I'm going to try to keep things simple for the sake of the tutorial. And I'll drop one there in the middle. And we'll have one here at the top. You can see our joint chain here in the outliner. If your outliner is not open, I'm, I'm just using a default view here in Maya. And if you can't see it, you can go to Window Outliner. We need to make sure that the joints in our hierarchy each have a unique name. Now the first joint in the hierarchy, I'm going to call that root. I'll call this one middle and I'll name this joint head. Okay, so great start. Since I place those joints in the front view, they're nicely centered. And that had to do with positioning the dot earlier. So now I want to get some joints in here for the sake of jiggle. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do, I feel like these joints are a little large, so I'm going to go to display, animation, and joint size. I'm just going to dial those back a little bit something that's a little more comfortable. So now I want to have jiggle on pretty much every side of the the dot here, but I do not want to overdo it with joints. Like I don't want to have a, a lot of joints because I'll have to edit all those. We just want to kind of dial it down so it's enough joints to get the point across. So. What I'm going to do is toggle back to front mode and I'm going to go to skeleton create joints again and I'm going to set this up so that we're going to have jiggle not, not entirely do I yeah. I'm going to have kind of arms coming off of this in a couple of places so that we can get that kind of jiggle effect. So I'm going to drop another joint here, drop another one here, and probably put it right there-ish.
I'm going to hit enter to commit that joint chain. And we'll go back to our create joint tool. Then we'll drop another, say, in that location. And then we'll have the tip here. And then I'll, whoops. So now what I'm going to do is select those two joint chains. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and rename these. And I'm going to go, I'm going to use left, right, front, and back. Because we're going to do this in the side view also. So we're going to call these the left side. I'm going to use BN for bone. I guess I could, since it's Maya, I'll say JT underscore L underscore low A. And this is important because each joint has to have a unique name. Otherwise, you'll run into import issues with UE4. I'm calling it JT underscore L underscore I A. Okay, now that we have our joint change drawed out and we have them named properly, we're going to go ahead and parent these chains to the spine. So select the joint chain, shift select the root joint, and hit P for parent. Do the same thing with the upper joint chain and the middle of the spine here, and hit P for parent again. I'm going to select my joint chain here, and we're going to go to skeleton. And we're going to go to mirror joints and option box. We want to mirror across the YZ axis. And then we're going to search for underscore L underscore and replace it with underscore R underscore. We'll go ahead and hit mirror. There we go. I'll select this joint chain and I'm going to hit G on my keyboard for repeat last function. And now we'll move over here into the side view. And I'm just going to go into wireframe mode. And we will go to our skeleton, create joints. I'm going to do the same thing. And I want the joint pl placement to be kind of close, but it doesn't have to be exact here. Obviously, if I was rigging something with limbs or something like that, it would be very different. I just want to hop over here so. Forward Z is front. So these are front. And I can just hit select that joint chain and hit control D to duplicate it. And then I'll just get that into position there. All right. So again, I'm going to select the joint chain, shift select the root, hit P. I'll do the same thing with this joint chain. And then I can go ahead and rename these. So we'll call this GT underscore F for front underscore a, oh, I should say, I, A,
and we'll double click and select the text there, copy it, double click down here, paste it, change that to a B. Looks like I have one too many joint chain there. We'll fix that in a second. Uh, let's move on to our lower front joint chain. So we'll go JT underscore F underscore low A. Change that to low B. And then we'll go ahead and mirror these. And there's a skeleton mirror joints option box. And this time we're going to search for underscore F underscore and change it to underscore B underscore. Go ahead and mirror that. That didn't mirror in the right direction because I'm on a different axis. Let's try that again. There we go. So XY is nice for front and back. And then, let's go ahead and, whoops. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then I'm going to hit G on my keyboard to do the same thing. And what's nice about this is that they're mirrored nicely. They have a similar position. And we have our front joint chains and our back joint chains. I'm going to just hop in here so you can see what the rig looks like. Make sure these are all named properly. Left, right, front, back. Left, right, front, back. There we go. So this is what your hierarchy should sort of look like. And now we can go ahead and skin these bones with our mesh. So I'll hop out of reference mode. I'm going to select the root, shift select our mesh, and we'll go to skin, bind skin, option box. So I would like to have many of these on the screen. So one of the things I'm going to do is uh, set my max vert influence to three. It's, I believe it's default is set to five, but if I want to spawn a bunch of these, I would like to make that performance. So something that's going to help that is to lower my max influences. And so I'm going to do that, hit bind skin, and we'll see what we get. So if I select this joint chain here, and I rotate, Let's kind of see what we get. And even if I rotate these joints, we're going to get some interesting sort of binding. Cool. All right, now that that's done, um, we could go in and uh, edit the skin weights. So if I go to skin, paint skin weights, you can sort of get an idea for what is being influenced by what. It's a little difficult here with multicolor feedback, 
but I think that what I've got here with the default weighting will be just fine. And again, if I wanted more resolution in the deformation, I could adjust the amount of bones and that would work too. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and export this. I'm going to go to file. I select the root joint and the mesh. I'll go to file, export selection. I'm going to call it dot ref pose. So then um, I don't need to export any animation. I just want the skeletal mesh. So the FBX settings, animation turned off. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I checked to see if there's a smooth mesh. There's not, though. Reference assets content. I don't even think that is a big deal. Units. I have it. I have it. The scale factor of one and the up axis and Z. So uh, Z is the default UE4. So we'll go ahead and export this. I'm just replacing a previous file. So in the next video tutorial, we'll take a look at bringing our skeletal mesh into the engine and beginning to set up our physics assets.